Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Today we have a few things we need to do. Today's going to be a short episode, I unfortunately don't have a lot of time. Alright. We're heading back to town. We're going to do a couple more things before we head to um to Snowhead Temple which is the next temple um still one more thing what time is it does it, does it actually tell me uh 7 p.m. I think I can still do this let me get my bunny hood out we're headed to the post office, which I believe is this way. No, it is in the opposite direction. We're going to play a quick game with the postman, and then we're going to head out if he's open. This is the wrong place. No. Yes, this is the wrong place. Dang it. Yeah, I was right the first time. There's a few mini games we could play. Um but they're kind of tricky and I don't have a lot of time. Uh they're bow and arrow archery uh mini games. So let's talk to them. We've never actually talked to this fella, so let's. 4 5 6 <laughs> Those ears! Oh, they're fake. You startled me. Don't disrupt my training. In my mind, I am running for exactly ten seconds without looking at a clock. I was in the middle of mental training. You may make fun of me, but this is quite difficult. Will you try? Yes, I will. Press A to start. Count ten seconds, and the precise moment you think you've hit ten on the dot, press A again. Okay, this works this way your time was exactly 10 seconds you can actually look at the thing let me explain if you're not wearing the bunny ears I think that you can see the first three seconds and then it stops um, if you're wearing the bunny ears you can see the whole thing so you can stop it exactly at 10 Huh? Ten? Well, that is amazing. You have reflexes suitable for a postman. As thanks for showing me something impressive, I give you this. You got a piece of heart? Collect four pieces? Yes, yes. Beautiful. I, I can't be like this. I'll have to train more. More! You showed your wild instincts. This is added to your notebook. The postman, whose priority is delivery, was added to your notebook. All right. That's really all I wanted to do. Like I said, um, good grief. There are two archery games we can play. One is in the swamp, and the other one is here in town. But, like I said, I'm, I'm not particularly good at them, and I don't have a lot of time. So I'm not going to do them right now. We're going to deposit all my rupees. And then... Oops. That didn't mean to do that. Come on. There we go. 116. All right, 7,115. All right, with that, we can head back to the first day and head over to, um, uh, the winter area. <laughs> oh, yes, the winter area. 
Let's do it. Actually. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I forgot. Uh, there's one more thing I want to do. Uh... No. I remember. Well, yes. It'll be fine. I'm going to head over to Romani Ranch, where we did the Cuckoo Cuckoo marching thing. Ooh, blue bubble. I forgot that those came out at night. Uh, Romani Ranch, yes. Is this the way? I think it's this way. Uh, you guys remember uh, where we uh, made the cuckoos grow up and got a piece of heart? Oh, a wolf -os. Are you kidding me? Well, that's bad news. Oh my god. Wolfos, go away. Oh, wolfos are bad. Okay, cool. Oh, this is a southern swamp. This is not where I meant to be. Uh. Uh. I think it needs to be the third day anyway. Alright, we gotta make it to the third day. Dang it! I shouldn't have deposited my money. <laughs> I was just thinking, I think, if I remember correctly, it takes money to play. Anyway, I'm just gonna gather a little bit of money here. Yeah, I think I need... I don't remember how much it is. It's more than what I have right now. Hmm. Did not enjoy being accosted. Is this the way? Swamp Shooting Gallery. Okay, this is the Swamp Shoot... I'm in the wrong place. Yes, the Swamp Shooting Gallery is over there. That's the other archery target game. And like I said, the first one is inside Clocktown. Uh, but they're, I'll need some time to do those, to practice them properly and, and do them right. I uh, was making sure that Choo Choo wasn't following me. I think there's a guy over here. On a tree. If I remember correctly. In it. Man, rolling into stuff in this game is very difficult. Come on. There we go. Give me freaking rupees. Alright, that should be enough. Sorry about your knee. Oh, hit my knee. Okay. Okay. This should be enough rupees. And we can head on over. Um, to Romani Ranch, which is this way. Avoid that mean bird. Okay, Milk Road. I think there might be some rupees in here. And these, maybe? Okay, whatever. 
Oh, these are the weird bushes. Okay. That's okay. This is more than enough. And we need to make it... The third day so we can get in there. The reason we can do this now is because we have the Mask of Truth. And we can talk to animals. So... All right, one more. Okay. Later on, you can come in here without having to worry about making it to the third day. Um, but not right now. Did I never unlock... Is there a... Hold on, sorry. I'm wondering if there is a... Maybe there isn't. But is there an owl statue? Yeah, and I've unlocked it. I have. Okay. Ooh, a fairy. It doesn't matter. I'll lose it when I go back to the first day anyway. But anyway, we're going to go bet on the we're going to go bet on dog racing. And the thing is with the Mask of Truth, we have that we can actually um read the dog's minds. <laughs> So we can uh, kind of cheat. I believe by winning this, we will get a piece of heart, if I recall correctly. Better take this off. Put on the mask of truth. Well, not put on, but get it ready. Oh, what do you want on a day like this? This is Mamamoo Yan's doggy racetrack. Didn't you know that? Do you want to try a dog race? The minimum bet is 10 rupees. Will you still try? Sure. Uh, fetch the dog that you think will run the fastest. Bring it here. All right, so what we want to do is pick up a dog and just read their minds. Rough. I don't feel much different than usual. This is not the one. Go away. Rough. Today, I should do pretty well. No. No. That's not what we want to hear. Rough. Today, I should do pretty well. Again. We need a dog with more confidence than that. I feel like I could win. But then, I feel like I could lose too. Come on, dog. Rough. My four paws feel lighter than usual today. This is a pretty good one. My my fall my paws feel lighter. Um, I feel unstoppable. There's no way I'll lose. Something like that. But I want one that's got even more confidence. I should do all right. You'll do no such thing. Who whine? I'm too old for this. Right leg hurts. The hind one. Oh dear. Today, I feel like I can win. Again, not quite confident enough. Come on. I'm here for my wife and child. There's no way I'll lose. This is the one. There's no way. I'll... You're not guaranteed a win, mind. It's just more likely. That's not what I wanted to do. Come back here. Is that doggy fine? Yes, he is. If the dog you brought me takes first place, you get triple your bet. Second place gets double. If the dog you've chosen places third through fifth, you'll break even and get back however much you bet. If your dog does any worse than that, you'll lose whatever you bet. 
I will bet 20 rupees. Come on, Rufus. As you can see, there's no actual guarantee, but look at him. He's making a run for it here. He's got the motivation. And what is his motivation? His wife and kids. Is there a greater motivation for any pup? Come on, Rufus. Come on, get that inside track. And third place ain't bad, I guess. He got he kinda got stuck behind the other two. It's not his fault. Not bad. Oh, almost. Well, I'll give you back the amount you put down. You want to play again? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. First, go in and fetch the doggy that you think will run the fastest. All right. We want to pick another dog like that. My head. I stayed up too late. Shouldn't be barking at that moon all night. Oh, dear. My four paws feel lighter than usual today. That wouldn't be a bad pick, but... Today, I should do pretty well. Look at this golden one. Oh, no. Oh, no. Go away. I can't predict the future, so I don't know how I'll do. That's not what we want to hear. I don't know what he said, but he was whining. Sorry, you're no good. Come on. Where are all the winners? I'm getting a bunch of losers. Oh yeah, I feel unstoppable. This is the one. I'm betting heavily on this one. Yes, this puppy is fine. Alright, I think you, if you win 150, you get a piece of heart. I don't have that much, so I want to bet like conservatively get some good earnings and then bet the farm if you will so if i if i happen to win this race i should be able to bet heavily in the next one i don't know if this is the same dog as last time but i'm gonna call him rufus again come on rufus oh yes don't. Why would you let that happen, Rufus? Come on, this is the final. Oh my god. You foolish pup. You were in first place. You see why this is hard? Imagine being that last dog. He's probably the one that stayed up all night. Alright. Let's find another winner. And hopefully this time... Hopefully this time we'll win. I'm trying to segregate the bad ones from the good ones, but they keep commingling. I should do all right. Get out of here.
All right, fine. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll stick with this one. Okay. All right, let's do... Yes, I know how it works. Thank you very much. Let's do 30. Don't let me down, Rufus. I started off pretty well. Look at my boy go. Look at my boy go. Don't you dare get fourth place. Come on, cut that one off. Cut him off. Did I get third? Am I forever third? I hate that we have to wait for the losers to finish. Sweet hound of happiness, you took second. That's amazing. You wouldn't double the amount of your bet. Go 60 rupees. Beautiful. Yes, I do. Okay. All right. Let's get ourselves a winner. We have a plenty of playing money. I'm going to start with... I'm here for my wife and child. This is the one. Rufus Jr. Yes. Okay. So we need to win triple what we got. So we have, like I said, we have some playing money. So I'm going to bet 50. Because 5 times 3 is 150. And if we get 150... We get a piece of heart. Oh, look at him go. Oh, he is. This is it. No, no. Rufus Jr. Oh, my God. What have you done? Rufus Jr. Oh my god. That was a bad choice. It sure was. It sure was. I'm going to spend all day here betting on the doggies. I cannot. I've never picked the blue dog again. You stupid mutt. Come here. You stop. Stop running. You know what? Stay over. Stay. There you go. Stay up there. I'm going to stick with this one. This one's the one that won me last time. So. Can't believe I lost 50 rupees on Rufus Jr. Mm, come on. Yes, I understand that. I'm going to bet 20. I need to get my money back. I can't bet 50 because I don't have enough. Because freaking blue moron over there. Running the worst race he's ever run. Watch him win this one. I'd be so mad. I'm not going to get excited. Yeah, see? He just got overtaken. Oh, no. He got pushed off to the side. Oh, he's not even going to place. He's not even going to place. Oh, my God. At least that broke even. Ugh. One more race. I'm addicted to this. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell. All right, I'm going to go for the Goldie. You should do all right. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I feel unstoppable. This, oh, come on now. This is it, man. Give me my money. Come on. We can do this. Okay, Rufus. Oh, he's on the... He's got the outside track here. That's not a good starting spot. He's stuck in the cluster there. Oh, this is bad. Come on, cut him off. Please? Come on, Rufus. Come on, Rufus. That a boy. That a boy. That's my pup. Well, take me for a walk and call me Spot. You took first place. First place. You win triple the amount. That's 60 rupees. You know, I would like to play again. I really would. And I'm gonna, but not right now. I'm gonna have to come back. Because uh, I need this piece of heart. Yes, I do. But also, she doesn't think it's a little weird that I'm walking around with this weird mask on. Anyway, I, uh, I'm gonna have to call it a day here. Simply because I'm out of time. Look, yes, it's a Pona. I know, I know. It's a Pona. Isn't that your horse? It is, it is. I'm sorry, Epona. I know you're here already. I knew you were here already. This is awkward, but I have to go. I am really sorry. Okay. I'm gonna go back to the owl statue. I'm gonna save the game. I'm gonna come back. Oh, I wonder what this says. The mystical stone responds to the mask. It seems Keaton, the ghost fox, plays tricks in the grass. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Oh, man. All right. Oh, here's another one. Let's read this one. Yes, yes. The spirit of a charismatic dancer who died in Termina Field dances there night after night. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is going to do it for me for today. The next time we come out here, we will be betting more on the dogs. Going out to the dog track. Doing some betting. Because that's the kind of degenerates that we are. Let's... Uh, Save that for next time, though. So thank you for joining me for this episode. Again, sorry for being a little short. I will catch you guys next time.